These are people, several of them, who are very close to President Biden, who love him, have supported him, have been among among them, or some people who have raised a lot of money for him. Uh, and they are adamant that what we saw the other night, the Joe Biden we saw, uh, is not an, a one-off, that there have been 15, 20 occasions in the last year and a half when the president has appeared somewhat as he did in that horror show uh, that we witnessed. Well, after resembling a sick, mumbling and bumbling space cadet during the US presidential debate, it seems Democrats are rallying around Joe Biden. How can they seriously back this man to take them to November and even more concerningly for another term? He wants to get away with it and get rid of the ability of Medicare to, uh, the, for the ability to, for the, us to be able, able to do with the uh, with, with, with the COVID, excuse me, with um, dealing with everything we have to do with, uh, look, if we finally beat Medicare. Oh, it's uncomfortable, isn't it? Now, as expected, the Democrats are in damage control while the president spends the weekend at Camp David, desperately trying to shield him from more stumbles and slip ups. And to no surprise, voter confidence in Biden since the debate is down. According to a CBS YouGov poll, 27% of registered voters believe the president has the mental and cognitive health, to, does not have it rather, to run again. For more, let's bring in Sky News contributor Kosha Garda. Kosha, good to see you as always. Look, there is no way, surely, that the Democrats can continue with Biden to November. How do you see this playing out? 
You know, I think what happened last week, last Friday, Danica, in this debate was a convergence of two big groups, convergence of the high information consumers of, of news and, and media who really knew this and it wasn't a surprise to them in terms of the cognitive decline of Biden, and this other group of just everyday people who aren't in the weeds. And for them, I think this was quite a shock. The dam has broken and that's why all the smart money says that they are going to try and change him out. It's not so simple. There is a process for it, but uh, it's not as straightforward. There are many states where ballot deadlines to switch out a name have passed. There uh, is a financial component where I think he's raised, Biden has raised almost up to $2 billion, which cannot just automatically be transferred to somebody else. There's FEC laws around that. And then politically, there's the problem of his vice president. And, you know, if you sidestep her with somebody else, a white male who in this party uh, has crafted themselves around identity as a, as a key factor in who they choose, that's another issue that they've got to get through. Notwithstanding that, smart money seems to be that that's what they're going to try to do in this August convention. The pressure is on. There is not consensus with the Democrats, but uh, it seems to be headed in that direction. Well, there's been those reports, of course, that there's crisis talks happening at Camp David about what happens next. I want to ask you, though, there's been a lot of criticism levelled at Jill Biden, uh, particularly uh, there's been some suggest suggestions that she's the one actually pushing for him to continue in the race. Do you think that that criticism of her is fair in the context? You know, it appears to be she really did not come out looking well at any of the past uh, events where we've seen Biden struggle on a human level. You know, I've got a lot of friends who are not in the weeds. They don't live and breathe this stuff the way you and I do. And the one thing they said to me after consistently after watching the debate was, how could somebody do that? You know, it was passing judgment, but how could a wife do that if somebody is at that level of cognitive decline, which we've all experienced some family member or another go through? Um, and so I don't think that she's coming across very well from a human perspective, fairly or not. I think late first Lady Macbeth was trending on Twitter after the debate, which kind of gives a sense of where some people are. Um, others see her as is very loyal, and she's she's saying that you know he is the rightful nominee. He won all the necessary delegates through their process, and she's not going to be pressured into having him stand down. So it depends how you look at it. But I think net net, um, she is not coming across well just on a human level to most people that I've spoken to. How do you think the Trump camp would be feeling after the debate? I mean, they didn't really have to do much. I think Joe Biden uh, certainly uh, showed his lack of great credibility uh, by himself. But do you think that they would be thinking, well, this is a win? I mean, Trump's got his own issues. How do you think they'll be feeling? I think they saw it as definitely a win, just in terms of that convergence that I mentioned of the high information consumers and low information consumers coming together. He really laid bare or ripped the mask off for the wide swath of the public, something like 50 million people tuned in live and another 200 plus million people on the various social media platforms watched those key clips that went viral afterwards. So this is now out in the open, the cognitive decline issue, and that can only help him. On the other hand, um, you know, many would say that the Trump camp gave Joe Biden and a free pass because typically the debates don't happen in June this early when the nominees aren't officially confirmed and if he ends up not being the nominee then uh, Trump just debated somebody who's not even the nominee so there is an argument that it happened too soon and if this leads to a switch out with somebody more formidable then that could potentially backfire for him but I think net net um, he felt that it was time or the Trump team felt it was time to expose this very blatant issue to the American people and um, you know that's a move he made and right now he's only up up and up in the polls since that debate.